Uh, Tommy, in the past, I think, three and a half years, you've appeared for Impact, ROH, WWE, even a couple of NXT dates. Uh, how do you go about balancing all those relationships? And have you ever actually signed with any of those? Or has it just been like handshake agreements as you work on your own thing at House of Hardcore? Uh, no, I have not. I also uh, would like to add Lucha Underground to that uh, mix yeah. and um, a few others. I, I can't, I learned a lot of lessons in my life. Everyone talks about ECW and the greatness of what was ECW and it was, but none of us ever knew that Paul Heyman was in bed with the WWE the entire time. Uh, I saw those effects. I had to live with those effects for a long, long time. I would not sign a contract with anyone. WWE asked me to sign a contract when I went back uh, with the Wyatts. And they offered me a lot of money to close House of Hardcore, and I refused. Um, Impact Wrestling, I worked there uh, under a lot of different regimes. Once politics or BS started getting involved, I just left. And uh, I've been friends with Scott Demore for a long time. I've been friends with Don Callis for a long time. I have no issues whatsoever, and I'm not a very, very hard person to deal with. I wanted, I wanted people to deal with me how I deal with them and I'm a man of my word and uh you know so far everybody and I, and I expect it to always be that way so uh I'm cool and how I balance that uh with just handshake agreements because I'm a man of my word and I've proven that for a long long time uh stipulation it, it's funny in a business that is predetermined I've always lived up to my stipulations uh, when I was in WWE and I said, again, Zack Ryder, if I lose this match, I'm leaving ECW. I would never go back to ECW ever again. In Impact Wrestling, I wrote Hardcore Justice. My selling point was me versus Raven, and I will never wrestle him again. I've been offered to wrestle him on indies. Won't do it. I also said, same pay-per-view. I won't do anything ECW reunion anymore. Uh, I didn't. Uh I feel it's important to be a man of your word. I hated growing up as a kid saying, oh, loser will retire, and then they just come back. So uh, that's just me. At times I feel like I'm alone in my dealings, but if people don't like it, sorry. That's just how I am. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks, man.